Poponic Plague in China Health officials in China have confirmed the case in the Inner Mongolia district of a plague. The man is under isolation at a local hospital reported to be in stable condition. The City Health Commission issued a level 3 warning and the confirmed case following two other reported cases last week in Mongolia. The World Health Organization has said, quote, Baponic plague has been with us and is always with us for centuries. We are looking at the case number in China. It is being well managed. At the moment, we are not considering it high risk. We are watching and monitoring carefully. But what is a plague? Plague is a disease that affects humans and other mammals. It is caused by a bacteria called Yersinia pistis. Humans usually get plague after being bitten by a rodent flea that is infected or exposed to the body fluids from a dead plague infected animal. Human to human transmission is possible when respiratory droplet from people or domestic pets with plague pharyngitis or pneumonia is involved. But why are these big concerns about pneumonic plague? Pneumonic plague can be transmitted from person to person. There have been multiple pandemics of plagues, famously the Black Death. Previous pandemics of plagues have killed anywhere between 50 and 200 million. So what are the symptoms? Sudden fever, chills, weakness, headache and swollen lymph nodes which later on become painful and tender and this is where the name Bopanic come from. In the absence of treatment may complicate into septicemic plague and pneumonic plague which comes with respiratory symptoms, gastrointestinal symptoms, multi-organ failure, bleeding, shock and finally death. The diagnosis is made through clinical suspicion, culture and staining, and serological testing or rabbit test. And treatment regimen is through early initiation of antibiotic regimen. Mortality rate can be up to 90% if untreated, and with early initiation of antibiotic, especially before complication occurs, mortality can drop up to 20%. Leave your questions in the comment section and let me know which topics you want me to cover in the future.